Hi guys, Ladija's Creations here. I just received this patio heater from RW Flame and I'm getting ready to do the unboxing of it and I decided to bring you guys along with me. Okay, this is the top portion of the heater. These are the poles. There are four poles all together. And then this is the stand. It's a pretty big stand. Okay guys, now that I've gotten everything out of the box, it comes with a base, a remote, two screws in a pack, and then the six screws right there on top, this cap cover, and four poles. And then it comes with the top heater portion of it. So it seems like it might be pretty simple to put together. We shall see. And by the way, I decided to let my daughter use this patio heater because she likes sitting outside in the cold. So right now I'm at her apartment. Okay guys, so let's get to putting this together. It looks like it might be fairly simple to put together. At least I'm hoping that it will be. So, it looks like I need to unscrew these screws right here, these six screws. Okay, now that I have removed the screws, this pole right here will be placed on top of that area where I removed the screws. And these are the screws that I'm going to be replacing back on top of there to attach that pole. And there are six screws all together that I'm going to be screwing back into the base of the heater. And guys, the only two that's required to assemble the heater is a Phillips head screwdriver. So guys, it looks like this heater is going to be pretty easy to assemble. I just have to screw these six screws in right here and then use the two other screws, the smaller screws that attaches the top pole to the top portion of the heater. And guys, I really think my daughter is really going to enjoy this heater because even though there are four poles, she can actually shorten the height or make it as long as she wants. Either way, she has to have the two poles, this portion right here that I'm screwing in and the top pole that attaches the heating element to that pole. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to place that cap cover over the top portion of that pole that I just attached to the base. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to attach two additional poles. And all I have to do is to screw the poles together. For now, I'm going to attach three of the poles but I'm sure my daughter will probably only use two of them because right now when I add the third pole, it's almost going to be at the top of the patio door. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to attach the heating lamp to the top of the pole. I'm going to be inserting the pole into this area right here and then attaching it with the two screws. These old bones of mine. Guys, I apologize for the loud background noise. There was an ambulance passing by probably up on the main street. This is where I'm going to be inserting the pole into the heating lamp area. And you can see those two holes right there where the screws are going to 
be attached on the back side. And that is where the two holes are for the screws where I'm going to be attaching the pole to the top heating element. Okay, so this right here is the pull line power switch. So I guess you just click it on and off. Okay guys, so this is the heater and it warms up really quickly. Okay, as I told you guys, this is the pull switch for it and it is getting dark. And I really wanted to kind of wait until it got dark. And when you turn it on, you will see the on signal right there. Right now it's off. So I am going to turn it on. And then I am going to press this button right here. That's the indicator light that is on. But guys, look. It doesn't take long at all to heat up. It feels so good. And it's chilly out here today. But guys, when I tell you this heats up really good and it's bright, it's an extra light too. It was really easy to put together. You guys saw all I needed was a screwdriver to assemble it. As I told you guys, it came with four poles. I only added three because had I added the fourth one, it probably would have been way up there. And that heat feels so good. I am not kidding you guys. If you all are looking for a patio heater that's really efficient, I suggest that you purchase this one right here from RW Flame. This is a sponsored video. But guys, I would not recommend anything that does not serve its purpose efficiently. And nor will I recommend something that is not good. This is so nice. It's cool out here. It's so cool. And this is really warming me up. And lovely, as I told you guys, it also comes with a remote. It's a real fairly simple remote. 1500 watts. I'm just going to remove that little strip that comes in most remotes and then turn it off. You can see how bright it was out here. I'm going to turn it back on so y'all can see the remote working it. Press the on button and then press the 1500. Okay, that works. And just as you can see how fast it comes on, the heat as well is there. And like I said, it's chilly out here tonight. I am in love with that heater. I'm going to try and give you guys a overall view of it somewhere. But it is really nice. I highly recommend this. It feels good out here on this patio. And guys, I just want to take this time to thank RW Flame for sponsoring this video and for supplying this patio heater. I also want to thank them for granting me the opportunity to work with their company. And guys, I highly recommend this patio heater. So if you're in the market for one, remember it supplies a great source of heat and it's efficient and it was easy to assemble. It only took eight screws to put together. And all I needed was a screwdriver to assemble it. But love you, it's time to go. I love you guys. And I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. But you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, 
and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today and come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21.